back now. Yes. It's kind of from the 60s, late 60s. <laughs> After 8 o'clock, we've hit that 70 degree mark. WRHI FM 100.1, your home for news, talk, and sports. I'm so excited. I am not the only dancer in the room this morning. <laughs> Lucas, we have company. I'm Patty Mercer. And I'm Lucas McFadden. I know you love this. This is fantastic. We are traveling back to the 1960s. We have kids from Dutchman Creek Middle School. They're putting on hairspray starting this Tuesday night. We have Carmen, Savannah, and Aiden. And Aiden, we'll start with you, my man. Tell us about Hairspray, the musical. Well, Lucas, the Hairspray musical, it takes place in 1962. And, well, basically it's about this uh, little teenage girl named Tracy Turnblad, who she's different because she's a bit overweight. So a lot of people don't really see her, like, you know, as a TV star, which that's her training to be an idol. So she goes to audition for when there's an opening for a show called The Corny Collins Show. And what the competition is there is Amber Ron Tussle, one of the main antagonists in that entire story, isn't really a big fan of her being on the show and taking her guy named Larkin. Oh, wow. <laughs> so the, whole story, the, most, the whole story is pretty much her trying to win a pageant called the Miss Teenage Hairspray Pageant for 1962. Which they used a lot of hairspray in 1962. <laughs> get that little bump going on. That's true. Yeah. Well, Eden, tell us about the character you play because you are dressed up. Uh, if you can uh, watch us on Caporium Cable Channel 103, Aiden is dressed in a full tuxedo, it looks like. Yes, I am dressed as Corny Collins. I, I knew this. <laughs> yes. and, um, basically, my character is the witty and you know fun-loving TV host for his show, The Corny Collins Show. And he's one of the supporting cast, one of the main characters. And um, he's one of those ki characters, like, you got to understand, in the 1960s, there's a lot of segregation there. And that's a lot of, like, a lot of people in that play, you know, are against segregation. Like Tracy, um, Link, uh, you have Penny, you have Corny. You know, a lot of people are against that. And Corny is one of those, you know, he wants to change the show because they always have one day called Negro Day, which is the day that... Um, all African Americans dance on the show one day a month. So he, what he wants to do is kind of want to just change that and mix all those kids in together to dance. What a great opportunity to learn about this show that takes place in the 1960, 1960s when so much is happening currently in terms of you know diversity. So tell us, let's see, let's go, uh, Savannah. Yeah. Tell us about your part in Hairspray. Um, I play Tracy Turnblad and <laughs> that is a really fun role to play. Um, just her her costume and just her um, her character, I put a lot of myself, I see myself in her um, because she, is, she's, she has her eyes set on something that's more important than just fame and um, popularity but she wants to make a change in um, the diversity of people and segregation. So, like her having those drives and dreams and goals, um, I see myself in her just because I have all these drives and dreams and goals too. And so, um, I wear a wig and a wig cap and it's, it's fun and, um, and it takes a while to like pin it in so it doesn't fall <laughs> off. <laughs> and, and I love this. Fun. Um, she has this huge dress well, what about the dress you're wearing yeah. right now? Yeah, that is so colorful. Is, yes. It's legit, too, I understand. Yes. Like, um, it was worn by uh, Miss Fort Mill, uh, Virginia Co um, Buchanan, um, in the 1960s. And this is like this is the dress where she um, won the pageant. Of course she did. Yes. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Um, this is Tracy's ending number for You Can't Stop the Beat. Um, I got my go-go boots, too. Oh, nice. <laughs> Love the go-go yeah, boots. Um, so I danced this in the number and I take my vows and stuff in this and um, just doing this show has showed me a lot and um, Tracy she's a really really special character for me because I've played a lot of characters but Tracy's really just special for me um, not because it's my it's she's also just my um, last middle school character but she's a lot of me 
Um, and I use, I, I don't really use my own voice or any of it. It's been a little animated. So, um, Tracy's pretty, pretty much me. She's just, she's crazy. She's fun loving. She, she doesn't give a crap what other people say. Yeah, and yeah she's real. <laughs> she is. She, yeah. she is a real, real friend, and she loves her family. You guys are amazing. So let's come on over here um, to uh, Carmen. Carmen. Yeah. Tell us about your role. Um, I play Motormouth Maybell. She hosts Negro. <laughs> she hosts Negro Day on the Corny Collins Show. She's, she wants change. She's really all for change. Um, I just love the character so much because it's like. She, she's very, she has a lot of attitude like myself. <laughs> and I just love that, like the whole. Concepts. And Concepts, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, it's so interesting. It, it is cool to see kids in 2018 tackling stories from the 1960s. And, and, and while they're totally two different time periods, they're very similar and still what we're going through every single day it's still it's still relevant so even though you weren't born during that time you still can relate to what was going on at the time then that you're faced with 